guys, what's going on? Kurt Capra back with another US dollar update for you. Of course, hope everybody is doing well. And um, so, yeah, we had the FOMC announcement earlier this week, and to no one's surprise, they did follow through on what was expected, which was a, a raise in the rates. So, um, again, no surprise there, but they did come out a bit more hawkish, which meant that generally speaking the dollar is is to react in a bullish way and that is what happened right the the dollar did go up you can see this here is the FOMC day and after gapping down following the the CPI miss we had um, the rally and continued follow through into Thursday's trading session so in the short term yes we did move up we reacted in line with again all these expectations however when we look at the chart everything that I've been saying in in the prior videos which you can go back and check um, has been one of a more bearish stance and that really remains in place you can see we are getting some additional weakness uh, today as I'm recording this video we'll see how the day closes and ultimately how the week closes but overall, really no damage, no real damage being done to the longer term direction here. So um, it, it was admittedly a little unfortunate to see this attempt to move lower, not follow through right away. But with the uncertainty around the Fed and, and just the political landscape in general, things have been a little more uh, on edge, if you will. And as a result, either you have to do one of two things. You have much smaller target expectations in in the case of that you need to manage the positions more tightly all right or you have larger targets and you give the trade more room to wiggle around you cannot do both you can't say that you know I'm going to have this this larger target expectation but I'm not going to give the trade any room to breathe especially when there's no momentum in place so that's really been the environment not just recently but really for what's felt like the the better part of this year where trades are working but you have to be willing to give them room because if you're if you're too tight with your management as I said you get stopped out and frustrated as the trade then goes in the direction you expect it so little side note there just in terms of managing positions getting back to the chart here though as I was saying there's been no real damage done we're still in a downtrend we're still below the majority of moving averages the 21 day the 50 day the 200 day right we're still below all those those longer term trend measurement moving averages the only one we're above right now is the 8 day which you know just really gives us an indication as to the more short term or immediate direction of the trend which right now is is flat so my expectation is still one of, as I said earlier, bearishness and looking for price to move down. Now, we do have some work to do. We're going to have to come back and test the bottom of, uh, of this week's range, which is th where the Fed day occurred. So that will, that will uh, generate some additional demand there. But I think over the next week or two, we can easily see this bleeding back down to that level and then even lower in line with, as I said, um, where my target has been based on prior videos. Now, if we take a look at the weekly, gain a little more perspective here. And the only moving average the weekly chart is sitting on top of right now is the 200 day. But that's right down here around this 2450 level that I've been mentioning as a p possible, you know, longer term target. So while we are getting a bit of a a bottoming tail this week following the Fed decision, it's still within the context of this sideways range. And quite frankly, even if it did retrace a little bit here over the next week or two, that's just going to form a lower high. And then ultimately what I would expect is a lower low to form following that move down. So everything here still suggests additional weakness based on what I'm seeing. Um, you know, just, just for the sake of being thorough, looking at the monthly chart, you know, it failed on this breakout. Okay, it broke out over these highs, it failed, has come right back in, and again has room to come down towards the, 
the lower end of this range and even on the monthly right you see that the level of 2450 aligns with your 50 day moving average so this 2450 level it, 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 it seems to be a magnet if you will not only do you have price support there but you also have the weekly 200 MA and you have the monthly 50 day moving average so you got a lot of reference points there that that I've got to believe traders are going to be looking at for price to fall down into before then looking to commit to, to some maybe long positions to see what kind of bounce we get from there so that's what uh, that's what the charts are telling us and just to kind of wrap this up yes the FOMC day did generate some extra volatility but that's just a, a one-off scenario the longer term trend is down and that's what you got to keep in mind right of course you have to be aware of the news when it's coming out so you don't get caught but what you have to keep in perspective is it is a single day and as long as that that day does not change the picture dramatically you just need to treat it as one day and moving forward continue to just follow the trend all right so hope you guys are enjoying this uh this video series that we're putting out here on the dollar hope it's helping you guys and um until next time have a great uh great rest of your day enjoy the weekend and we'll talk again soon